Across a scorched landscape, over dry riverbeds in northern Kenya, we find more than 2,000 migrants in a makeshift village so remote it's not on the map. And families driven to desperation by a devastating drought. Sifting through the sand, hoping to find pieces of gold. 18-year-old Solivia came here seven months ago. Did you find any gold this week? No gold this week. Esa Kariat is 50. He arrived in July, hoping to feed five children. How often does he find gold? After five days. After five days? Yeah. Like Paulina shows me what a piece of gold looks like, a speck on the tip of a finger. That will pay for the first food she's had in two to three days. These people aren't trying to get rich. They're just trying to eat. I'm hungry, she's saying. I'm hungry. They were once simple farmers with fertile land. They did not cause climate change. Like seven-month-old Jacinta, living with her mother, Rebecca, in a small tent. For the first time in Lossal village, a children's clinic has arrived. Jacinta is severely malnourished. If she can't hold down food, they'll rush her to the hospital. Francis from UNICEF feeds her a little at a time. So he has good appetite. It's good news. Yes. You look happy, you smile. Yeah, I look happy. I feel like the baby has good potential of getting cured. But fueling the crisis is the war in Ukraine, hitting supplies of staple foods. And UNICEF says inflation is impacting even operations like this. This peanut-based paste is almost miraculous in the way it can help children survive that most deadly of malnutrition. Uh, but the prices of this have skyrocketed as well. Tonight, there is little time left to save the lives of children like Jacinta. Millions are growing up on the front lines of this climate change crisis, an emergency unfolding across East Africa. Keir Simmons, NBC News, Lodwar, Kenya. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.